Carlos Nelson with the Kansas City Business Association. And today we have a real special guest, uh, one of our businesses right here on 18th and Vine. Who do we have here? Jason Parsons. Hey, Jason, tell our audience a little bit about yourself, who you are, what you do, and the journey to where you're at now as it relates to your firm. My company is called Parson & Associates. We are located right here in the historic Jazz District. Uh, we have been in business 11, going on 12 years. The journey has been exactly that, a journey. We, uh, uh, we, we've seen um, many, uh, we've, 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 we've encountered many challenges along the way. Um, people often think that you just arrived. No one ever just arrives. Uh, but what I will say is the journey along the way has prepared us for where we are today. And for that, uh, I, I'm not sure I would do anything different. Uh, we talked earlier and uh, you said something about T.D. Jakes. Uh, let our audience know uh, what that's about. Well, what I was talking about. Journey. Sure, yeah. sure. What I was talking about, uh, T.D. Jakes was talking to Kirk Franklin uh, in a song and he simply says, you're looking at now, but you don't know how I struggled and what I've been through. And I think oftentimes we look at uh, business owners or, or uh, those in positions uh, that we uh, define as successful positions, and we think that they must have just arrived. Well, that, that, that doesn't happen like that. And uh, there's a lot of sweat, tears, uh, long nights, uh, that, that goes into that journey. And I know I could just speak for myself that, uh, that that's that been the case, you know. It, it, nothing has been handed to me or, or to any other successful business uh, leader in this. Tell, tell me this, what do you think the business climate is for African American small businesses here in the city? Yeah, I, I think it can be challenging. You know, uh, one of the things that we have to do is to uh, at times get out of our comfort zone you, you know we uh, uh, you know it's easy to want to do business with those that we like and we know uh, but sadly uh, oftentimes business that we need to uh, seek is outside of that comfort zone and so we uh, have to cultivate relationships we have to network uh, this city, probably not unlike other cities, certainly has its challenges. Um, when you think about this city, I, I, I believe that we should have many more uh, minority businesses, uh, women businesses uh, up and running, and many more success stories because of it. I, you know, I, the failures could be for many reasons, but I do think that we are primed right now with everything that's going on here in Kansas City to uh, cultivate uh, and, and nurture uh, those businesses and individuals leading those businesses to help them be successful. Uh, there was an article I read briefly about uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and it was saying that uh, the business climate for African American businesses was really, frankly one of the poorest in the nation. Uh, I've been knowing you some time, for some time now, and I think you try to see the glass half full instead of half empty, and ha that, that can be uh, challenging too. Uh, in my estimation, as being small business, and I might say, every time that I've called on your business, I had this conversation with some people this morning, uh, I said that, uh, your business has responded to uh, the needs that uh, we've had with our athletes sponsoring different things. And you're one of the young entrepreneurs that I would think that our whole community could be proud of and could s support. Well, I appreciate those kind words. And uh, I believe it's very important to give back whether people see it or not, you know, I, I know uh, what I do, I, you know, I, I often uh, don't seek public 
you know, support right. or, or anything. Every time I've come to you, you was like, I don't need that. Uh, I'm doing this because this is the right thing to do. Well, and I believe that. You know, if, if you do the right things, then uh, that should be good enough. And, and I know for me, uh, what I try to do is not only make sure my business is well, but make sure others. Because at the end of the day, none of this matters if you look around and there are no other successful minority or women-owned businesses but yourself. Uh, great, great, great point. Uh, what would you have some parting words that you would like to leave to our young and up-and-coming entrepreneurs? Uh, and uh, this other question, how important is it for you to have business ethics? Have ethics in general. Well, for those that are uh, coming up, dream and dream big, right? Like, the only failure is to not try. That That's the thing. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're pursuing, what it is that, that uh, you're desired, but, but pursue it and pursue it with all you have. And uh, if, if I mean the way I look at it, if you're gonna bet on something or you or something or someone, why not bet on yourself? Excellent. You know, I uh, I believe in me. You know, and and I believe in me more than I believe in you. So I'm gonna uh, uh, roll the dice on me. That's but, right. but for a young person, I, you know, I truly believe this is the uh, uh, we we are we are uh, we are at a place where I think you know, anything is possible, right? This city is, is I think, uh, um, uh, it's a blank canvas. And I think whatever it is that you want to do uh, in this city, you, you, you know, you should pursue it. If and you I'm work not, at it, it yeah, can happen. Well, yeah, and, and, but, but even, even if it doesn't, there's lessons to be learned to prepare you for the next go around. That's the key, right? It's just never give up, no matter what happens. Don't give up, uh, but but Kansas City, uh, I'm not sure if there's be, ever been a better time to uh, to be here. I'm in agreement so, with you. Timing well, is everything. Yeah, but and, and I just go back to um, uh, you know a time when you know I would talk to my grandfather and and I think about uh, businesses working together and my grandfather shared stories with me how uh, as we all say back in the day, but. Uh, Tell the audience who your grandfather was. My grandfather was Jay McShann, a uh, jazz musician. But the, the point is, is that he would tell stories how uh, black businesses worked together so that they all uh, succeeded. And, and they were very intentional about it. And I think about that today. You know, and I'm not able to, 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 to do everything for everyone, but I am able to do some things for someone. Right, and I think if we all uh, do our share and are supportive of each other, whether that's in a mentoring capacity or uh, referrals or whatever the case may be, wh whatever that is that that we can do, we should do it uh, because our community is dependent upon. How about the uh, last uh, part of that? Was how important is it uh, to have good ethics? And, and the halfway uh, segue on that, and speak truth to power at this time in 2019. Well, as growing up, as we used to say, word is bond. And uh, without your word, what do you have? And, and people, you know, when, when you say you're going to do something, do it. And, and I think that oftentimes it, it can put you in uh, a place of discomfort. But if people know where you stand, they respect that. They may not always agree, agree with, you. with you, and that's okay because, uh, you know, I'm not sure if, if there's anyone we agree with all the time. I don't, you know. Including wife, spouse. Yeah, 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 I was my wife tell it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't agree all the time. Uh, but, but at the end of the day, uh, your word is what counts. And when you're doing business, uh, people want to know that they can depend on you to get their job done. Because 
when you're in business with someone, uh, their reputation is on the line as well. And, and when, you, when you do deliver, you then are able to uh, cultivate relationships and grow the business. And that's the one thing that I've learned is a lot of our business uh, is are, you know, based on the relationships that have been cultivated over time. Excellent. Uh, as we close, uh, when you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself. Good night. This program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association.